Hello everyone, it's Rick Arter here, and in today's video I just want to go over a quick introduction and hardware overview on my home server. It's going to be nothing too fancy, just something to back up all my files and uh, hold all my hard drives and such inside of. And um, basically this is the computer here, and if you guys remember, this used to be the computer I was using before I upgraded to my current AMD system. And this computer's been through, you know, quite a few different configurations. If you guys would like to see anything more on this, uh, be sure to check through my older videos. I have quite a few uh, things uploaded about this computer. And the case here is just some generic um, old compact case, nothing too fancy, but it definitely doesn't really work for what I'm going to use it for. And if you remember back in uh, older videos, I was talking about making this into a media center type computer. Uh, where I was going to run it for TV and stuff like that, but I decided that I was going to change that idea and turn it into a storage computer. So I knew that this case just wasn't going to work. So I decided to, I uh, picked up a new case here. This is the uh, Diablo Tech Evo Mid Tower case. If you guys would like to see more on that, I did a unboxing and review, and I went pretty in depth with the case. It's a great case has a lot of nice features for a $50 case, however, cable management is not the greatest. But that's not really going to be a big deal here since this isn't going to uh, be for cable management per se, it's just really for, you know, a backup computer. And uh, just to go over real quick what I got here that's going into this, it's a E4500 uh, socket 775 um, setup. It's basically got a Zotac N73 value micro ATX motherboard. We have 4 gigabytes of DDR2800. And the OS drive in here is just a um, Seagate 200, or a West, sorry, Western Digital 250 gigabytes SATA drive. And then there's also a few other hard drives I'm going to be putting in here. I have this uh, another Seagate 250 here, which I'm going to have to test this drive because it uh, was having some problems when I originally hooked it up to my AMD computer, so I'm going to test that out, see if it's alright. And then we have a uh, Western Digital 1 terabyte black drive here, and then I also have a Western Digital 1 terabyte drive here that's actually uh, in a hard drive enclosure, so I'm not sure if I'm going to use that for kind of a transfer drive or I guess once I get everything set up um, as far as like putting this on the network possibly I'm not sure really I don't want to get too crazy into it I just want something to have you know room for this computer and um, you know all my hard drives and everything and I'll probably get another one terabyte or maybe a two terabyte green drive as you know another backup for everything and um, like I said here we just got a a, uh, I think this is a 15 or 17 inch uh, LCD monitor, nothing fancy, just needs to you know, hook up to the computer. It's just a VGA monitor. And we got a uh, old USB Logitech uh, mouse there. And we have this uh, old Dell keyboard. So nothing too fancy, but I just wanted to give you guys an introduction on this. And what I'm going to do now is uh, take everything out of here and transfer it into here, get it all set up and then I will make another video for you guys to let you know how everything went and give you guys just a overview of everything once it's all installed and running and what I'm probably going to do is remove the stock Intel cooler on there and uh, put my HRO2 CPU cooler on there I should be able to run that passive since this case has good airflow and uh, it'll just make it quieter um, overall and this this case here actually comes with four fans. It's got one 120 in the front, two on the top, and then one in the back with room for two more here. And depending on how these fans um, work out, they're four pin fans, I'm not a big fan of that. But depending on how they work out, I might um, keep them, or if they're a little too loud or they don't you know, flow a good amount of airflow that I like for the setup, I will end up just getting rid of them and switching them out. But that's a little more down the road. The only things I'd like to change on this is I want to eventually upgrade this power supply because this is just a, a Powerman uh, 300 watt power supply. And while this computer isn't going to really per se need more than 300 or 350 watts, this is a generic power supply. And as you guys know, I'm not a big fan of generic power supplies. So I'm going to you know, keep my eye out for, for some deals on uh, re online retailers and on uh, Micro Center. 
and I'll see if I can find a decent uh, three or four hundred watt power supply uh, to replace this. That's a name brand, and not only will that help out with reliability, but it'll give me more connectors because this power supply is kind of limited on connectors. So, and this motherboard only has four SATA ports, so I can only run four drives at one time. However, that's not really a big deal because being this is a backup storage server, I really won't need to have all of the hard drives hooked up. I'll just keep you know, the OS drive plus one or two other drives hooked up at all times and then I'll have another drive that will be unhooked and that'll be um, another copy of pretty much everything because I like to keep, you know, at least two copies of everything just in case something happens like, for example, a few months ago I had a lightning strike in my house and uh, pretty much fried a lot of stuff in the house so um, I'm kind of building this to as a preventative me measure for any hard drive failures or anything like that and eventually I probably will buy a UPS for it and stuff like that but right now it's pretty much just going to be what I have laying around and it's just going to have a, uh, actually I already had it installed here, just got a LG um, CD DVD burner drive which more than likely since this computer won't actually need one of these, you know, as far as I can tell, unless I need to install something for like a, a new wireless card or something like that. Probably going to take this out since it's brand new, and I'll install it into my AMD gaming computer, and then I'll take the light on um, SATA DVD burner I have and put it in here, since I'll use this more on my uh, gaming computer than I will on this server, so... That about wraps it up, guys. Um, if you have any questions or you know you want to leave a comment, feel free. Please rate this video, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and uh, lots more to come, guys. You stay tuned, and I will see you soon.